This is Fiji Minor, so there's secrets and mysteries to be revealed when looking into oases and geysers. And so these mysteries have been explained by science, but there seems to be deeper information to be had when looking into this type of stuff. Because with oases, you can find these ponds of water. They're like fresh water with trees and uh, vegetation in the middle of a desert so nothing but sand around for miles and then all of a sudden there's this pond or this lake in the middle of nowhere and in the cartoons they used to show these things like they were mirages like they were just myths but they're actually real things uh, it's actually a real phenomenon and so it's not a mirage that these things exist and where is this water coming from all this fresh water well it looks like there's something to do with the waters beneath when it comes to these things and also the geysers where you see water that shoots up from beneath the earth there's places like old faithful and, and places like that where these geysers show that there's water an abundance of water beneath the earth even when they've done exploration beneath the earth they've found water where they didn't know there was going to be water so what's all this water doing beneath the earth where is it coming from well the bible says in the beginning one of the first things that was created was the heavens and the earth and earth was described as water though so it says basically um in the beginning there was just water before land and all that appeared so and then the waters were separated from the waters above and the waters below and then there's surface water as well so water seems to be a key factor in a lot of things and a lot of research especially when you research to the origins of creation and so i do have a playlist with all of my deep research on water and i'll leave that in the comment section in the description box so there's other things beneath the earth as well like we covered lava, oil, lots of soil and rocks, gold, diamonds, precious metals, caverns, and all types of stuff beneath the earth. So there's a mystery beneath the earth for sure. But when it comes to water, that seems to be another mystery to add to the bucket list. No pun intended. So with the fountains of the deep described in the Bible, I mean, we can see that there's something to do with waters beneath and perhaps there was geysers that was pushing up water during the great flood um, as well as waters coming from above but this video we're focusing on the waters beneath so what are these fountains of the great deep while the scientists are pretty baffled they're thinking that this water beneath is in the form of steam they're saying they're thinking the uh, elements of hydrogen and oxygen are coming together and creating water fresh and creating it as a vapor as this vapor f um, finds its way to the surface levels it gets to an area where it can collect into liquid form and springs and uh, geysers and uh, aquifers and stuff like that so they're saying this water finds its way to the surface level eventually and that might explain why these hot springs are so hot because it definitely seems like there's heat beneath the earth and the this water also finds its way to mountains and valleys and stuff like that as well so once this water reaches these levels of the surface area it becomes secondary water where it's not pure water anymore because it's been um, moving around soil and dirt and stuff so it's no longer that pure form of water once it gets to the surface level but you can get primary water also from above the earth in the form of clouds though as the process of water naturally distills itself and you got water in the air and plus the evaporation so plenty of water to form out of thin air basically and become clouds and 
um you can you, you can get a uh, primary water out of that also um i will leave a link in the comment section if you want to make primary water in your home they're calling it distilled water and there's a machine that you can purchase and you can make your own fresh water where it's free of contaminants you just pour the water out of your sink into this container and the machine will evaporate the water to cloud form and pour it into another container so i'll leave that link in the comment section in the description box the machine is well the, the link is called hqh2o water and um you're gonna definitely want to check out that if you want to start drinking the purest form of water because water is the most important thing i mean humans are made out of mostly water the earth is made out of mostly water water is one of the most original form of creation according to the bible so we want to make sure we're getting the purest water inside of our temples and also um before i get out of here there's some more mysteries to be um contemplated on and brainstormed on when it comes to these waters beneath and if this water is the fountains of the deep because i've discussed in another video where they have found lakes beneath the ocean so it's the most bizarre thing to be underwater and then you see a lake so the water looks like it's separate from the waters above and when they try to go into that lake beneath the ocean they can't get through it so it's like a force field or something's keeping people from exploring this water and so i have had um some brainstorming to do about that i mean i've covered water a lot of times i've wondered if water is conscious if water is a form of life possibly i mean we breathe air and air is the breath of life but then we need water and water and air is kind of similar um because oxygen and uh, water you can kind of connect the two so i don't know there's a lot of mysteries when it comes to water but as far as the water is beneath the earth it's like why can why can't um mankind go into these waters of the fountains of the deep why are they saying that when the submarines tried to go through that water in the ocean that they found at the bottom of the ocean the submarine would not go through it was it too dense what what was going on there so if you have any ideas about what was going on with that and what are these fountains of the deep below and uh and and, and so forth let let me know what you think about all that in the comment section so look that's about it for today i'm gonna leave some links if you would like to um, subscribe to my other channels or sign up to my free email newsletters or if you'd like to um, subscribe to my social media accounts all that will be in the comment section in the description box. I'm also going to leave links. If you would like to support this channel, you can donate as little as a dollar. Your support will help keep Future Mind online. Plus, you're going to help me get much more documentary style videos out. Those are the videos with lots of visuals and well edited and very shareable. And um, you're going to really enjoy those. So, um, I also have a um, membership option here on YouTube. So, thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Future Mind signing off.